Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue learning about pandas and group by. In previous video we talked about how to use aggregate along with group by. Here we are going to use transform with group by and we'll also try to see how it compares with apply. There is subtle difference and we'll get into that uh, while we are coding. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've already created a new notebook and uh, imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. And for data frame, we have this data set, which has two columns, grade, and there's a numeric column, Y. So first, what we can do is create a new grouped object. So I'm going to go ahead and create, let's create transform because that's what we are going to work on in this video. G is equal to df dot group group by and let's group on grade column. Now to do a transform, what we want to do is a format could be something like this uh, df yt y let's say transformed and uh, is equal to g and here we are going to pass a series which is just one column from the data frame dot transform and the quantity we are calculating is the mean now when we look at df we have successfully calculated the mean value for each of the groups in the grade column so uh, to show what that did was let's go ahead and use the df dot group group by and i'm going to use the grade again here and let's use the column y and this is followed by mean so as you can see the mean for grade a is 3.5 now what transform does is it does the broadcasting so all the grades wherever there is a written it has automatically put the value of 3.5 for in the y transform column so the first row has 3.5 then this row at index 3 also has the value of 3.5 for y transformed similarly for the grade b the value is 4.3 and that value is inserted anywhere where there is a grade b so that's uh, the biggest advantage of using transform in one step you can calculate a value a grouped value and then that value is applied to the uh, all the rows in that data frame and put in a separate column uh, if you you're probably wondering couldn't we use apply and what apply would do is something similar to this so g dot apply and here if we calculate the mean what we get back is uh, a less number of rows so we just get the groups and the transformed values we however uh, we however do not get the entire length of the data frame back okay so that's the difference here uh, if you if we want what we could also do is copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and then also go ahead and copy this paste it here and then run this so now you can see that what we get back is uh, the mean values for the column Y by in the groups within the column grade but then uh, it is not broadcasted so if you want the original data frame back or if you want these values attached to the original data frame you would have to do a second operation which is merge to the original data frame to get that to work but transform would do that for you in just one step next uh, we can also use transform to fill uh, fill NAs or fill missing values within our data frame so the data frame that we have is this let's create some missing values here in some locations i'm going to use df.ilog and if you remember the first set 
we can give the index for the columns let's say 2 4 6 and the second is for uh, index for rows and then second is for columns so that uh, has to be 1 because the grade is 0 and y is the column where we want to create the nn so np dot nn now if you look at df we have created a 2 4 and 6 index we have created the nn values we can also go ahead and uh, set the grade column to index so df is equal to df dot set underscore index and here we are going to specify grade and the reason for that is in the transform command that we are going to use uh, we it will be easier for us to see what we are uh, calculating for which group now we have our data set ready we can go ahead and create a new object grouped object so g is equal to df dot group by and here we can specify the grade and uh, within this we can create another object which is a transformed object so uh, g t a t for transform and g dot transform transform and here we can use a function so i'm going to use lambda lam lambda x and x dot fill in a and we are going to fill with the mean value for that group so np dot mean of x so what we are trying to do is uh, we are going to bunch up all these or group all these values for let's say for grade a we are going to group 3 and 4 get the mean of that and put that mean value here similarly for b we are going to group 2 nn nnn and then put the mean value there and so on and so forth for other uh, other uh, groups as well so that's what will create the transform transformed group and to that we can then use to apply group by again so t is equal to gt dot uh, group by and we are going to use the grade column again because that's what we started with and then t dot mean so as you can see we have calculated the means which are after using the fill na so if you look at gt uh, we uh, it does not have any nns in there uh, so all the nns are replaced by the mean values that were calculated for example if we go back up uh, or let's go ahead and pull the data frame again down here we can see that for a which was uh, a was 3 4 and that was good so for c we had 8 1 and an n so the mean of 8 and 1 is uh, 9 divided by 2 so 4.5 and that's what we have put in place of an n at uh, in the third row so all the values are filled and we do not have any nns here there is a way we can check if there are nns uh, and that is if you type df dot count uh, here you can see that there are only six values now if you type gt dot count which has filled the nns you can see that there are nine values so all of them are good here some are missing because they are nns before we uh, close this video i just want to show you that uh, here you can also calculate the uh, mean uh, directly so df dot group by and if you are going to group by the column grade you can simply say dot mean and that gives us the mean for uh, the nan filled column uh, as, as we see here so the reason to show you this is that even after we fill the uh, empty values with mean values for each of those groups our final mean value for each of those groups has not changed so here we calculated it directly 
using the data frame df which has an ends uh, it has these values 3.5 for a and these are calculated with ns that were filled so still a has group a has a mean value of 3.5 for the column y uh, that was it for this video i hope in this video you learn how to use transform along with group by and also how it relates to apply remember that transform passes only one column of two for calculations whereas apply passes the entire data frame uh, for that group for calculations okay in next video we'll continue this discussion and look at a few more interesting topics uh, along with group by please like share and click the bell icon below to subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you